Reflection of Decay. Does it reroll each and every single time, or is it just going to force me to fight it? Hang on. Before I go again, let me just take a look. Darkest Dungeon in the Farmstead. Do you have to go into there to reroll its effects? Nothing so far that I can see. So yeah, I think I just got unlucky. That's disappointing. Uh, well, arguably this just makes the monsters tougher, but doesn't make them outright invulnerable. The problem is I have no way of dealing with any beast that has innate protection unless I bring an occultist. Kind of a tricky challenge. A very tricky challenge indeed. Uh, what would I even build here? Do I have Herbert still around here? Or do I no longer have a champion? Yes, I still have Herbert. And Herbert has all... Oh, right, he was the fastest... Right, right. Fastest abomination in the West. Can never remember that he's the fastest abomination in the West. It was so funny to find out that he built, was built that way. Uh, no one here is particularly good against anything in the farmstead. Do I want to try this tonight? I kind of advertised it as such, so I should continue. But at the same time, I'm definitely not playing to the best of my ability. But I have been blue-balling my audience. But I have nothing to do tomorrow. And I could actually be well-rested. So I could just play another game during this time. Mm, let's... No, because everyone here is half insane. So I would have to take all these people on champion level missions. So yes, we'll unequip all trinkets and we'll make another party. And we're going to go on a short champion run through of the ruins instead. Zalrock... Uh, who here needs a run? Dragon, definitely. And there is a reason why I'm going to the ruins again with the thing from Beyond the Stars. I, If I do get the opportunity to do so, I do wish to face it again. Waka... You already have all the maxed out good stuff. So let's see if we can get you something good, Waka. Welcome to the party. And then, where, oh, where is our good highwayman? Russell. Alright, let's get, let's get some, tra let's get some traits cycled on all of you. Uh, as is before, unequipped all trinkets. Sort by class restrictions, put the Holy Orders in. Holy Orders, and the... Where are you? Why do I keep losing the Necromancer's Collar? Prophet's Eye. And then, do I need Junia's head? 
No, I don't think I actually do, because what is the healing? 30% more, it doesn't tends not to do a whole lot for you. Do I have anything here that does actual healing? No, it does not. Stun and debuff skill chance, so we could do the Demon's Cauldron instead, and get a higher crit ch base crit chance on the heals. Jester will always take Dirge for the Damned, because Dir Dirge for the Damned is the decent stress skill debuff, and the damage buff to the Jester is quite nice. And I don't need a Tyrant's Fingerbone. I really don't. Sure, you're fast. You're fast, you're quite fast. Why do you have so much speed? Oh, the building is giving you the speed bonus. Alright. Everyone here has got a decent speed overall, with the unfortunate exception of Zalrock himself, but Zalrock doesn't exactly need speed to work in these fights. Now we have to go to the much more trying portion of the Abbey. Let me just make sure I'm not crazy. So, what is the exact wording of the bank? You gain interest on saved gold, 5% per week. So, at the end of this week, 5% of 100,000. 500? No. 5,000, right? Excuse me, I need to do some basic math because I am a moron who does not know what they're doing sometimes. Yeah, it's 5,000. I was right. Brain Boy is, even though he's going to college right now, is the, the burnout is... The burnout is extreme with this one. I want to make it because I can easily blow several tens of thousands of gold in any run, but that would mean I'd have to have multiple millions. But I'm doing quite well, all things considered. I'm keeping things cheap, taking people on low-level runs to clear them of their negative quirks and stuff like this, which we're definitely going to remove Hemophilia. The Sealy, we're going to remove Rabies, because we've proven time and time again you just can't handle Rabies. Malaroy, you can pray. Hendry, you're probably not going to get used anytime soon, so we'll keep you on the back burner. And we'll send all of these people through a very quick run through of the ruins, except you, because you don't have any trinkets, and I'm so glad I looked. Hit you up with this, and then we're definitely gonna hit you up with the crystal trinket, because the crystal trinket is beautiful. A th additional damage and crit increase with almost no downside? Stun's not a downside, you can't lie to me and say that's true. It's excellent. Do need laudanum, but you know what? One full set of laudanum for the party isn't too bad. I'm gonna grab two extra torches. Three shovels. Holy water out the wazoo. And three keys, because this will probably pay for itself. Then most skeletons cause bleed, but I don't consider bandages something that's too terribly important to deal with, so let's go. Note, I did not take a look at what type of mission this is. I've stopped paying attention at this point. We just play, 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 and see what else we might do. I can also be so sleepy because I also basically just had a fairly large dinner of half of a pork chop, a breaded pork chop with a the fiends garden must be salad. Back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Sorry, with a black bean based salad. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. 
All of you people are terrified of me. Ooh, the stresses of combat going to get to everyone. I sincerely hope not, but hey, we'll see what we can do here. Let the ballad commence. Hmm, I could weakening curse, but in all honesty, I don't see much of a reason to. I in fact should probably just do vulnerability hex, because no one here has protection, but everyone here has dodge. So we'll just do this and make sure you can't avoid the fight. Annihilated. Acceptable. Uh, sure. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. No more stress for thee. And in fact, it'll battle. We will battle Ballad one more time. He's gonna knife in the dark. It'll miss, and then we will just smack him about. I said, we will smack him about, good sir. How dare you make me have to use the full effect of my buff? Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. To kill you in particular. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Darn. Empty crates. No fun at all. Oh... No. Get over here. I am not fighting all of you at once. You cannot make me. I refuse. I would rather fight these guys when they're axe blading each other. Rather than whatever you're going to try to make me do. Oh, here come the quarrels. Well... Here come the defenses. Uh, you know what? Zaraka, would you be a deer? The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Tank everything for me, will you? A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. We'll pull the bone sharpshooter forward once again, just because the clumsy axe blade is usually one of the better things we could have happen. Why are you allowed to bayonet jab? Thank you. Their formation is broken. There we Maintain go. Maintain the offensive. And Zarok has become the dodge tank supreme. You're gonna take over for the foul warding, but the foul warding on the first one is down, meaning we can probably just start focusing on the very first bone shield wall. I'm finally going to trigger the tracking shot now that one of them is dead. And we're just going to spend our next couple of turns just healing for a little while. A singular strike! You were so close to Zalrock. And instead of this is how you repay me. The fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Alright, he can no longer quarrel. He can only axe blade. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. You're gonna bayonet jab, it attempts to send you back, but it doesn't do anything. You're gonna attack Zalrock, but that does basically nothing. So let us rip shot again and put you closer and closer to death's door. We'll get most of our party healed up basically to full. I hit you and kill you. There's not a whole lot of chance unless you crit. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. You know what? I can accept it. Precision and power. As victories mount, so too will resistance.
I can accept all these crits that are coming my way. It's always something nice to have. And as always, I like having one copy of everything, but snake oil just will never find a use. I'm not even joking when I say this. Snake oil is possibly the least useful of the bunch. Oh baby, we had a fight spawn behind us because we were forced to backtrack. And it is this one. Well, Sir Stonework, we're gonna be in for a very, very long fight. Inspiration and improvement. So let's just see how far we can go before things start getting messy. Eradicated. One menacing gargoyle leaves up one insatiable ghoul. And now the worries. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Well, at least that's one ghoul down. We can deal with the stress. The blood quickens. The sheer amount of crits we're dealing in these fights usually means that we can just deal with the stress anyway. Uh, vulnerability hex or weakening? A decisive bubbling. I say weakening. I never upgraded your gear, did I? Nope, you're using level 4 gear. I am sorry, that is something I'll have to correct before too long. Dazed. Reeling. About to break. Right, I never made him immune to anything. Whoops. Masterfully executed. Um, battle ballad again? Now let's get some of your stress down for a little while. Um, eh. Attack, right. Zalrock. promise of safety. The horror. Well, the horror gets reapplied. This will probably kill him. Leaves him at exactly one. Well, I can kind of see how this is going to go. Their cursed champion falls. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I would definitely take two sapphires, if I do say so myself, and we do not need the medicinal herbs. The twin sapphires are going to neatly fill out my coffers for the remaining time. Like, that is almost worth it alone. Is there anything else you want to try and remove? The booth contains hidden treasure. That's a lot of gold. In Radiance, may we find victory. But gold is worthless, Brain Boy. Yes, but if I lack anything else that I can feasibly use it with, why do I need... Like, then I should just not bother holding on to it. There's now a chemical lab right up ahead. Uh, we could tracking shot on the Bone Sergeant. Like, kill the Bone Sergeant. You know what, let's get that rolling. I can't remember. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Does that actually cause... Uh, a stress... Not stress bonus. A dodge bonus as well. I don't think so, but that Bone Sergeant's alive, and that is a shame. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's the state of affairs. Sorry, a friend of mine had contacted me asking me if, you want, if I wanted to hang out tonight. Unfortunately, I had already planned out a streaming session, and if I left... Actually, I'd also have to ask my dad to move his car. That's certainly irritating. Oh well, we can continue to work on gutting most of the people who are hiding here. Destroyed. Well, I'll say. Uh, 
we're still much faster than most of our opposition, so let's just start getting his stress back down again, so he can be ready to eat some more curios for us. Ah, MJH Dragon. Zero. And bleed. Oh, the bleed part's thankfully fairly rare at this point. Pull up another heal to undo some of the damage done, and smack him about. Alright. Oh. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Well. I take this over the busts. Um, I don't need the blood. I literally am making blood as we speak, and can support any number of things. And gold is fairly irrelevant. So let's go. Gosh, that's so beautiful. Jute tapestries are so lovely. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. I actually knew what that did. I just wanted to confirm because I kind of forgot. It was kind of a waste there, because it immediately sets Torchlight to a hundred, but what have you. Next area. Ooh, well I think I was right to bring three of the, uh, three of the shovels. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. You're getting an obscene number of sapphires. Like, I could make a jewel-studded ring right about now with what I've got. It wouldn't be really pretty, but... The match is struck. A blazing star is born. It would still be pretty nice. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. And now we get to make use of the holy water. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Odds are the onyx, hang on, how many more areas? I could probably find like another onyx here and there and fill this out just a little bit more. Five sapphires. What is this? Well, one of these rooms is going to have a fight. I'm gonna be afraid of whatever fight that is. Here we go again. Like, get this open. I have run out of space to put more sapphires. Um. <sighs> Odds are I'm going to get more onyx than anything. You know what? Give it here. And a blood charm is actually worth less than the gold because it's not class specific. So, I'm going to hold on to the shovel because I don't know if I'm going to need it still. But man, this is a this is not just a milk run. This is just us destroying this place's economy. You've heard of raping and pillaging, but we're just straight up looting everything. Like this is a mausoleum. Well, not anymore. Do I have I got enough keys. Sure, let's crack this bad boy open too. It's gold. Oh, big whoop. Well, it's my chance if I want to give up on the Onyx plan, but I've got two more Curios. I'm going to gamble and see if I can get two Onyxes. It's really unlikely. It really is, but hey, I can try. A lurching composition of otherworldly death. Hello, 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 thing from the stars. Allow me to play to you the songs of my people, of the buffs given. We have brought the A-Team to this fight, and you are going to suffer for it. Right. Oh, your damage is going to be obscenely high, I can already tell, but... Hey, 
let's get your protection rolling and see what we can do here. Really? You just happen to home in the stun on the healer. Can you kill both? Another abomination. Guaranteed. From our lands. That's good to hear. Uh, you're gonna focus all your healing efforts on the Crusader. Honestly, the Crusader probably should take some holy water at this point. Because if this is going to be a fight that's going to last as long as I'm kind of expecting it to, he's going to take a lot of negatives. Oh yeah, you got a ridiculous number of buffs. So let's just see how far we can go in trying to kill the thing from the stars. Weakening shard on anyone else is fine. As long as the, like, main heavy attacks are on Zalrock. Back to the pit. I would love to have Zalrock heal up properly, but it's not going to happen. I'm probably just going to focus on ensuring that our accuracy, speed, and crit chance are as high as possible. Because this is going to be a longer fight than anticipated. Oh, sweet, that goes away. And you, I don't think you're below the... Yeah, you are definitely not below the 45% line just yet. In fact... Because your crit chance is so theoretically high... Sky Taint? Excuse me, what? Also, you're targeting him. What does Sky Taint do? Good lord! Well, I guess we're not going on the fight immediately there after this. Yeah, your base damage is higher. And your crit chance is high enough, because we can probably send him careening... Oh wait, does he have the protection? He does not. Crit, please. There we go. Sends his health total careening to the abyss. And now he's got the 80% protection, so we now just need to... Have fun outlasting him. Executed with impunity. I'm sorry. What are you targeting him for? He's marked. Why are you ignoring the marked target? Be gone, fiend. At least he can self-heal to a small degree. I can't risk the healing. I, I can't risk not having the buffs going off. And you fail the bleed. I am impressed that you were able to screw up this badly. A powerful blow. Zara can, can take the hit. Everyone else, not so much. Thank goodness you're at least rolling decently on the heels. Another one falls. Suck it up, Zarok. The thing from the stars is almost really. No, I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. He's marked. Stop targeting the ones that aren't marked. You're supposed to target Zalrog. Jesus. And Zalrog comes in while his character is here in the midst of a raid. Welcome, my friend. Those who covet injury find it in no short supply. 
can't heal you up any more than this. Um, do I want to risk? No, because he's not going to get a turn before this. No, the pain keeps moving. I hate you so much right now. And you got the bleed. There is indeed a Zarok raid, and I do thank you for it. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Well, at least you got the heal off. Now, if, why? 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 How are you targeting? <sighs> this is why I remember hating the game so much. It's so freaking inconsistent. With no good reason. Born of the void, it dies in the earth. <sighs> welcome, Zarok, and welcome, Raiders. Hopefully your stream was quite well. I'm sorry I had to start mine partway through yours, but... It's just kind of the way that things crumble sometimes. Um, I've got to fight another room battle. I'm going to survive this. And you have three ticks. Hmm. This is going to look really dumb. In fact, no. This is really dumb, but we are going to do something to be able to survive this. So, we're going to have as much torchlight as we need. We're going to put the cosmic shards there. Lock of Fury, we don't need it all because, well, Lock of Fury is worth more than the gold, so we'll take it. Fury from beyond the stars might be behind. Come on. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. You eat. We go forward again. We back up, even though it causes stress to trigger both of you. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. We're going to eat. No, you eat, or you die. Then we run forward again. A hand's breadth from becoming you unwound. Eat. I will force you to survive this encounter because, for some ungodly reason, they just kept targeting Russell just because the game despises my very existence. Is there anything I could give to any of the party members to ensure that they will survive this next encounter? The answer is I don't know, but I'm going to complete this encounter. BS aside, Reign of Whips. Well, we got the surprise going, which is a good thing for us. I want to kill the infamous Cutthroat. I just don't think it's happening. Oh, yeah, no, most definitely not. Not with that. You're, you're going to do this again to me, aren't you? All right, all right. Um, Waka, we're just going to hope and pray that all this stuff together will work in our favor. Zarok needs to get his protection rolling now, or he's going to die. Rain of whips. We all dodge it. Oh, is this what peace looks like? Are you finally giving me something after everything you've taken from me? Acceptable. I can hit you both. No worries, your character is no longer in death's door. So I'm fine with this. Your character is alive. There's one that I am afraid of dying right now, and that's our healer again, but we can try our best. Is a rarity in the field pitch of battle. Shanking Zalrock, that's fine. Rain of whips happen. Oh no, punishment happens. Uh, bleed stacks up, but we should be able to outheal it. Stress goes out. I want to shoot you. 
because I want this Fusilier dead. This Fusilier has been causing me no end of trouble or grief. I don't know, in XCOM you died twice. <sighs> I mean, hey, you've already died once in this game too, if you remember, and then fate decreed that you come back. Ergo, I fully expect you to survive this. I was hoping you wouldn't blanket fire. And the bleed is still stacked up. Heal yourself, so you try not to die. I want to reduce the incoming damage. But you're so slow that it's just not letting me. And now you're hitting MJH because you can. Thank you, game. I'm so thankful. Obliterated. You finally killed him. Finally. Took you long enough. Alright, we're gonna have to try to get this bloodletter down. Can't risk MJH, because MJH is more important than Zarok. A death denied. For now. Yes, there is indeed so much blood. Just need one more hit. Good hit on the infamous blood letter. Ringing ears. Blood vision. Really? The end really? Approaches. No. Do not give them freaking death's door. I'm so sick of this. Because now you're going to rain of whips and kill them both. Another life wasted in the pursuit of glory and gold. Thank you for that game. I am so in love with you doing this to me again and again. Do not. For the love of God. End these lives now. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. You did die. And I will say this, it is not my fault. The game just decided you were going to die there one way or another. If only to bleed again. And Death's Door, which kills Russell immediately. Because thank you, game. Survival is a tenuous proposition in this sprawling tomb. Thank you, MJH. You couldn't heal any other time prior. No, not at all. Not at all. And now our jester literally can do nothing. Our jester literally cannot attack our opponents. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. It's entirely up to MJH. Entirely. Get off of Death's door. It's not a TPK when the game is now going to... Yep, you immediately attack him as soon as he gets off of Death's Door to force him right back onto it. Thank you, game. I love you so much when you do this to and me. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. You... Fuck off! Rip indeed. More blood soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. All right, we lose everything again, I guess, and we'll be done with Darkest Dungeon for the night. All right, Waka, do you want to leave, or are you just going to cry? Yep, you're just going to cry and die because you can't attack. Because the game decided to troll us repeatedly. Nope, the game's not even going to let me leave. Cornered, trapped, and forced to fight on. Are you done, game? Are you done?
Are you done? The sin is not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. If I go back into that fight, will it be the exact same person? And if so, can I just... If it's the exact same person, can I just finale them immediately? I'm curious. Sorry, give me a moment. Let me take a look. How does Darkest Dungeon Retreating work? Or is it going to be one of those mechanics of, we're not going to tell you how it works. <sighs> Can you tell me how to retreat? This should be a mechanic on the wiki. What happens when you retreat from a fight? I wanted to know, because if I can just run back in there... You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go back in. It's not telling me. I wanna find. Nope! All the enemies come back. That's stupid. That is stupid beyond belief. A wise general cuts losses and regroups. I killed those two. They shouldn't be back. Well, it's to prevent you from finale Wounds stuffing. to be tended. You've already Lessons screwed up all learned. my plans again and again. To an insane degree, you've killed my only healer, meaning I have to go and hold the freaking line again. And even if I have a potentially good option in going to the freaking Hamlet or whatever. Finally, the serum is working. And the side effects are manageable. Hmm. 